Hey there, it's Julia from Crocoblock and welcome to our new tutorial about the hotspot widget for Elementor. In this video, I'll show you how to add and how to style it up. And just keep an eye on the cyber truck on our website and we will repeat the same hotspot widget in the Elementor page builder. So right now you see my page builder and I've already added the, all the necessary elements. So we are on the hotspot and tooltip routine only. So right now I'll style it up a bit and then we've add about one more hotspot item. So right now you see it's a bit ugly to be honest and we change the font right now. And that's our hotspot routine. So the font, the weight of the font, by the way, you can use uh, the hotspot widget to, to everything, almost everything. So if you wanted to emphasize on, a, on some information, so we need to change an icon color here oh, on the normal. So if you need, I didn't finish, if you need to emphasize an information to highlight it, so you can use it. You can just use it for sure. Next is the padding. So we should unlink it first. Yep. So 11, then 12, then 11, then 12. Yep, almost perfect. Border radius should be 100 to make it more round. Cool. And the next is the box shadow. The box shadow we will add it to make it more catchy. So we change the spread. Yeah, you see it. So it makes to click me, click me. Okay, so tooltip uh, styling settings. We change the text. Okay, jokes, come on. Typography as well. So you can tag location with a hotspot. You can tag words, objects, people, anything. Next. Okay, did we make it? Almost. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Here we have the arrow color. It's beautiful, beautiful color. Then we change the width. Then we change the background, not the light, the dark. Okay, Yuri. Oh, uh, text alignment. I forgot it. So it would be more, more appealing. Next is the padding. If I'm not mistaken, that would be 10. Yep, yep, that, that looks more, more cool. Uh, next is uh, the width of the border. We make the neon like border. You see, it's white right now. We'll add the brighter. Okay, and we rounded it a bit. Nice. So, guys. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we just, it took one, two minutes to style it up. So you see, it's really fast, easy and good looking. So right now, proceed to the content tab on the Elementor page builder and we should click on the hotspot drop down menu. Okay, so I already have the fifth item. Let's pretend that you didn't see this. Yep. Okay, so I will update the page. Give, me, give it a second. Uh, I will refresh it. Yep, it takes time. You can look at me at this moment. Okay. You see? So no tooltip, no hotspot. Add this, please. So we'll add this. The ball didn't make it through. So right now, one more time. To add a hotspot item, you need to click Add Item button. You can change here the icon but we have this plus by default and we like it. You see it, it is everywhere. Um, then we should change the position itself. So you can do it manually to use this slider or you can put the number, the exact number you know. Here we did it. Let's do it fade or pulse. Do we have pulse? Yeah, we have pulse. So fade would be for our tool tip. We have actually, we should change the placement. So it could be top, it could be bottom, it could be, okay, I'm hurrying up really. Okay, left and 
right but I like it on top here because we have on top on our website uh-huh and we can change the distance I'd like to be 20 with the tooltip you can shift away it we can shift over it and we can scale it yep and we can prospect here awesome but fading in fact as I promised so all ready done with all the settings of the hotspot and tooltip and just telling you papa have a nice day may the crocodile power be with you